And parents in a Metro East school district are furious over how a school security guard handled a student. Cell phone video shows a security guard body slamming a student. This happened earlier this week. Several parents contacted News 4 about the situation. Dion Broxton is here with more on their frustrations. Dion. Sam, Cahokia Heights is celebrating, Cahokia School District is celebrating its homecoming this week. Some parents say this is the only happy thing that has happened this school year. Many are concerned after a video showed a security guard body slamming a student. One mother told me something similar happened to her son. This is video sent to News 4 showing a security guard body slamming a student Monday outside of Cahokia High School. It's not the first time it's happened. News 4 tried making contact with the teen seen in this video, as well as his family. We haven't heard back, but we did hear from another parent accusing the same security guard of using excessive force. They did the exact same thing to my son. Megan Harper says the school suspended her son for a fight on school grounds. The mom believes the way security handled the incident was out of line. And they grabbed him by his jacket and ripped it off of him. Harper tells News 4 she requested surveillance footage from the principal, but she still hasn't seen it. And he called me back later that day and said that he looked at the video and that um, he didn't see any um, harm proceeded to my child. And I'm just like, how can you say this when I had other parents calling me and telling me you need to get up here because they're roughing your son up. If the families are seeing the same thing happening over and over with different kids and you've got to start wondering what What's the, what's the solution? Because the current solution isn't, isn't working. Deborah Mize has spent decades working with Metro East students through violence intervention. She says the security guard who slammed the student was in the wrong. I thought that it was, in a, in a bad word, overkill. The kid wasn't aggressively acting out towards the, the guard, and the guard was much bigger. News 4 has made multiple requests for an in-person interview with someone from the school district. Instead, officials direct us to a statement they sent us earlier this week. The statement reads, We are aware of the incident that occurred in relation to a student and our security guard. As part of our investigation, it was determined that the security guard acted in accordance with required procedures based on the student's actions, which were not seen on video. The district didn't explain what led up to the incident. In the meantime, Harper says she contacted a lawyer about the situation involving her son. She hopes what happened in this video doesn't happen to anyone else. They're supposed to be trained to defuse the situation. There are security cameras outside the high school that captured the incident the mother just told me about. We plan on asking the school district for that video. If we get it, we'll be sure to show it, share it with you. Sam? Dion, thank you.